Hey everyone, Sparks back with another Echo Clips video, and today we're going to talk about syndicates, which is basically the guild function of this game, or kind of like unions. If you're a Nikkei player, you'll be familiar with this concept. It's shared in like a lot of games. Uh, there is kind of a lot going on in this game mode, although honestly, there's kind of a lot going on in Echo Clips in general, which is why I make these guides for you guys because um, it's really easy to get lost with this because there is an amazing amount of content in this game. Uh, also, the global launch is in five days, but remember, you can play the game in English right now on the C server. Uh, that's what I'm playing on right now, but of course, I will also start a global account when it starts. Be sure to pre-register for that in the uh, Google Play Store or the Apple App Store or whatever you uh, prefer to do that on. Um, also, be sure to subscribe for guides on everything Echo Clips uh, this week and um, after the global launch, of course, I will continue to do uh, Echo Clips videos as well, but I want to get you guys as prepared as possible. Um, so, yeah. Um, you'll unlock this when you get to level 35, and there are a lot of benefits to being in the Syndicate, so getting to level 35 quickly should be your goal. So, in the Syndicate, uh, there's a lot going on, and my syndicate had to just kind of figure it out uh, for a few days, but you'll know exactly what's happening thanks to this video. Uh, we'll take a look at these uh, items here. It's kind of like, it's kind of cool. It's almost like a, um, I forget what the term is. It's actually a thing that they talk about in uh, animation where like, I think it's parallax, where like if you scroll side to side, they kind of move. Anyway, that's that's a tangent we don't really need to go into. But uh, anyway, so we'll kind of go from over these from left to right, sort of. Um, the first thing we'll take a look at is the shop. Um, this is just where you can buy things with your currency that you get from completing a syndicate task. Honestly, most of this stuff I would just kind of leave alone. Definitely the most valuable thing here is the proof of bond because this is what will um, allow you to increase the affection level every several levels or so. I think the first gate is at level eight. You'll have to use one of these to be able to then increase that unit's affection level more. And then eventually you'll want to be able to um, perform the oath for that unit where you'll get uh, for some rare units a new skin and then all of them get a stat increase. So these are definitely the most valuable things to buy in here. Otherwise, you can only buy them for uh, like real world money. Okay, uh, the next thing we'll take a look at is the um, uh, business center. So there's a few things that you can do in here. The first one is tribute. Basically, this is just to increase the level of your syndicate. You can do it once daily for free. After that, you can spend Iridium Morphite to level up more, but I wouldn't really recommend doing that. Just, you know, perform your daily tasks and don't try and rush it too much. Uh, you can also collect chest as members complete the daily tasks down here. This gauge will fill up and then you'll get like random rewards from it. And then you can also send gifts to your syndicate members. You can only do three per day. I'll go ahead and just like pick three random people here where uh, I'm you know, gonna send some gifts to. And then after I send out the three of my gifts, I can claim my own rewards for doing that as well. The Syndicate Hall is what we'll take a look at next. Um, the energy thing um, we'll actually talk about later because there's another option uh, on the map here. So in the Syndicate Hall, uh, basically this is just where you can look at your Syndicate members. I'm actually gonna delete a few inactive people down here at the bottom. Um, I get a lot of applications for my syndicate every day, and so if people are inactive for more than like two days, I go ahead and just uh, remove them. Um, unless it's like someone I actually know, we have a lot of people trying to join on the Discord. You can see we have a bunch of applications here. And if you wanna join the syndicate, please let me know. Um, hit me up on Discord, link to that in the, in the description below. Um, it's welcome to, you know, the general community. And uh, the syndicate ID is going to be 100020, but I just need to know who you are. Let me know what your IGN is uh, by sending me a DM and then I can add you to the syndicate. And I'll probably kick a, a random because we, about half of us in the syndicate are just like random players right now. All right, um, there is this hunting platform thing all the way over here on the side. Uh, this isn't in the game yet. I've, you know, verified with people on like other servers or like, um, like OG um, people from the game and this just isn't available to anybody yet. They haven't added it to the game So we'll find out what that is eventually presumably um, And then the last thing over here on the side is the high energy reactor So this is that thing that I mentioned in the business center that I said I would talk about so um, As you complete your tasks, you can gain the materials to charge these things You can see some members have already charged some of these for me I can go ahead and collect the rewards for it and then when I want to charge them myself, it's like a little mini game. So you can see we have this needle going back and forth here. And if I miss the center, 
Um, I'm not going to charge it as much, but if I get it right in the middle, you can see I get um, a perfect and it will increase it by more points. And so the whole syndicate is working on charging up all these um, like cables that go around this uh, energy reactor and you can claim your rewards as you charge it up. So you guys will want to focus on like one at a time because, you know, particularly when you're starting out and you don't have a ton of syndicate members, you don't want to all, you know, like charge each one three times and you don't get anything. Like make sure you're all charging the same one and then once you've finished it, move on to charging the next one. All right, um, let's go ahead and move on to the war room. And the war room is where the bulk of your actual syndicate activities are, which I know <laughs> we've already talked about a lot of syndicate activities, but um, this is where most of your actual combat and uh, weekly events will happen. So the exact activities in here will change based on the day of the week. And today, um, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at um, what we have in here. Um, if I duel, I can fight someone from another syndicate uh, to take their points and try to get as high as I can on the leaderboard. Um, if um, I'll just do this one at a time here um, for the video, but you can do this up to three times before um, the event uh, ends and we go to the next day. And then the other option here is Crusade. So if you can if you crusade, again, you can do this three times a day, and uh, you're gonna be fighting a very tanky NPC team that your whole syndicate tries to rack up damage on. Um, other days of the week, this will change, and you'll have like a similar thing where you fight kind of a raid boss, and again, your whole syndicate just tries to rack up as much damage as possible, and uh, you know, get the most rewards as you can there. Um, also in this area, you can do Operation Deadleaf. Now, this is going to be available every single day. This won't change based on the day of the week, um, but it resets every week. My syndicate has cleared some of these already, so I can collect the rewards here. Um, you can see like the chest is open, and I can just pick a random one um, from each of these four enemies that we've defeated for each of these areas. Uh, but if I go to um, another one, you can see we're still working on this. And I'll go ahead and uh, do an attack here. Uh, these are very tanky units, but they have almost no offense. So again, you're just trying to do as much damage as you can in your three attacks. Uh, you can also get damage bonuses for each faction um, that your units belong to. So each unit in Echo Calypse it belongs to one of these four factions. And uh, you can increase the damage for them um, by putting in the points that you've earned. And again, this will also reset uh, at the end of every week. Um, so I'll go ahead and use the ones that I got here to power up Naboo. And uh, like I said, these are going to end up resetting. Um, you can also do it to uh, power up your Neoliths. Very similar idea to like the same as powering up the, the factions. All right. Um, last line of defense isn't actually available this day, but um, here's a clip from one that I did from uh, the day before. Uh, there's different areas being attacked by NPCs. And you can see each area has a different power level. And basically you wanna clear the highest power level that you can, because you'll get more points. So each individual team within that area will take three attacks to actually clear it. And the color on that team will change from like uh, red if they're at full health, to orange, to yellow, and then finally it'll be cleared once they've been attacked um, enough. So some days of the week, um, you will uh, get this border agreement shop that will open uh, for the Abyssum, and we can see it back here on the home screen. And you can get some pretty good stuff in here, but if you're a free to play or even just not a big whale, I don't really recommend you using your Iridium Morphite here. Uh, save it for doing pulls um, in the gotcha for like units or weapons. All right, um, lastly, going back into the syndicate here, syndicate here, you will get these prize tickets throughout the week. And they just give you things like credits or other resources, um, Iridium Morphite if you're really lucky. And they're kind of fun because they're like literally scratchers and you use your finger to like scratch them off. They're like things that you would buy in like the 7-Eleven or something to try and win money. So it's kind of funny. We've got like simulated gambling here in our already gambling gotcha game. But whatever, they're, they're kind of a fun little... I actually really like these sort of interactive... Uh, mini games. There's a lot of these little things in Echo Clips, and I think it kind of like sets it apart from some of the other games where you literally just like hit claim and um, you just like get the resource rather than like doing a little thing. Anyway, um, that pretty much covers everything in the Syndicate. Like I said, there is sort of a lot going on. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, you're going to need to get to level 35 before you can join a Syndicate. Let me know if you want to join mine. Um, if you're on the C server, again, the uh, Syndicate ID is 100020. 
And uh, make sure you subscribe for more Echo Clips videos. I'm also an official Nikkei content creator, and I make videos and stream every week. So I'll catch you guys in the next video or the next stream.